Hi, I'm Andy from VPN Mentor and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of Ivacy. I'm going to download their VPN software and check out their support and we're going to see just how good they are. So let's head on to the ivacy.com website and we can see exactly what they have to offer. They have over 200 servers in 50 different countries. As well as this, they also allow a few servers for torrent users. And if we scroll further down the page, we can see some more technicalities. They offer all the standard protocols, including OpenVPN. As well as this, they offer 256-bit encryption. Okay, Ivacy works on all devices, including Windows, Mac and Androids. As well as this, it's also, they also support smart TVs and game consoles. Okay, so let's head on to the pricing page now, and we're going to check out the pricing plans. They offer 1 month, 24 months, and 6 months, and also a 7 day money back guarantee is included in all plans. So if you test drive the software and you find it's not right for you, don't worry, you can simply request a refund and they should honour that. But first, if you want to save time and money, do head over to vpnmentor.com where you can find all the latest VPN deals and this page is updated regularly so do head over there let's go back to the pricing plans now and we're gonna go for the one month plan okay so now you can see they offer quite a variety of payment methods including a lot of digital currencies like Bitcoin and Litecoin but we're gonna go for PayPal for this tutorial so let me just type in my details And I'm going to click pay with PayPal. So once you get through all the PayPal screens, you'll arrive at the Ivacy portal. Your username is actually your email address and you'll need to set your password. So I'm going to check my email and I have a welcome email from Ivacy. So I click this link and it will take me to a page where I can create my password. So let me log in and I'll get taken straight through to the Ivacy portal. And now I'm going to have to download the VPN app. So I'm going to go to support and click downloads. And it will take me to the page where I have all my options. Depending on what device you're using, there's um, instruction manuals for Linux, uh, smart TVs and game consoles. Whereas there's an actual VPN app for Macs, Windows and Androids. So I'm going to get the, uh, the Mac app since I'm using Mac OS X. Okay, it's just under 5 megabytes and it downloads pretty quickly. Very straightforward. So let me quickly install this now. Installation is all pretty easy. So here we are on the IVC dashboard. So we have our protocols that we can choose and also a server. Okay, on the left we have a server selection tool where again we can pick our server but also we can choose a purpose so let's say we want to connect to Netflix in USA well we can simply click Netflix USA and process now and the server will automatically be configured and also on the left here we have the settings option which gives us two options to either launch on startup when we start up the computer or as soon as we open up the VPN app itself it can automatically connect so very basic settings and as well if you want to get straight through to your billing account um, we have the options there on the left and also feedback and support so let's do a quick demonstration we're going to pick the United States server and I'm going to type my username and password in and click connect so it's all pretty straightforward it takes about five to ten seconds to connect okay so we're going to just disconnect and our next task is to conduct some VPN tests. Okay, so let me just check my IP address and as you can see here, uh, based in the UK uh, with a UK IP address and we're not using a VPN. Okay, so if I head on to the speed test now we're going to see how quick my internet connection is. And the results give us a ping of 167 milliseconds which is relatively high, uh, a download speed of 2.29 megabytes per second and upload speed of 0.6 megabytes per second. And thirdly we want to test Netflix and no surprise here Netflix automatically takes us to the UK site 
So I'm just going to log in and I'm going to search for a movie that I know is available in the US, but probably not in the UK. So let's search Enemy of the State. And no surprise here, we cannot find it here in the UK. Okay, so I'm going to test their support. I've contacted them earlier today to ask them how do I connect to the Netflix USA catalog using their VPN. So what I did was I went to my IVC account, click open ticket, contact the technical team, quickly fill out my form and make it a high priority just to really see how fast they are. And they kind of got back to me in just over an hour and a half. Okay, so let's see what they said. Well, to connect to the USA server, they suggested not using the VPN app, but actually changing my settings, my network settings, that is. Um, well, I did this, and I actually found that it was very slow. It actually didn't work. I connected to Netflix, but I couldn't even... Um, it was just too slow. So what I did was, um, I ignored their advice and went back to the IVC app and connected to the United States server. Uh, as you can see here, I'm doing it right now. And if we go back to Netflix, we can see that their suggestion was rather difficult. Didn't have to do that. All I had to do was use the VPN app itself. And here I am straight into Netflix USA. And I'm now loading up Enemy of the State and it's all working fine. A little bit of a buffer and there is no interruptions and I can scan through the movie a little bit and we can see that it takes a little while just to load but that's to be expected we're using a VPN so my internet connection is slightly slower as we're about to find out as I'm about to conduct some more tests on the VPN itself this time so we know Netflix works so let's move on and check the IP address, just to show you that we are connected to a United States server here. So as you can see, we're connected to United States, Georgia. And the other test we're going to do finally is to test the speed of the VPN. So our result shows a ping of 138 milliseconds, which is slightly faster than my normal IP address and a download speed of 2.26 megabytes per second which is roughly the same um, and an upload speed of 0.34 megaseconds so that's nearly half the speed uh, half the upload speed there okay so the VPN has slowed the internet connection a little bit but not by much so what we're going to do is now that we've finished all these tests what I'm going to do is I'm going to unsubscribe so I'm going to test a 7 day money back guarantee here and we're going to see just how quickly they honour that request. So we simply log into the account and we go to services, my services, click on request cancellation. They'll ask you for a reason why, so quickly fill in whatever reason you want. Um, so I'm going to click request cancellation and that's it cancelled. I'm glad to report that they did in fact honour this request. They sent me an email within two to three hours time and they told me that my service will be terminated within 24 hours okay so that pretty much concludes the test for IVC if you want to find out more about IVC then do head over to vpnmentor.com where you can read detailed expert reviews as well as user reviews and not only that, that you, you can also compare IVC to many other VPNs out there. And so this will save you a lot of time and, of course, a lot of money. Okay, great job, IVC. Thanks for listening to us. And if you appreciate our video, please share, like, or comment below.